Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to get these effortless beachy waves that you see all of your favorite Instagram bloggers wearing. To start, we're going to use some extensions. The curl we're going to be doing is really good for making your hair look fuller and thicker than it is, but we're going for the look of the photos that I showed you and they all definitely have extensions. So I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair. I'm going to tease the roots where the extensions are going to go. If they're already styled, I don't do this, but because I'm going to be pulling on the extensions a little bit when I curl them, I want them to stay. Now that we have the oodles of hair, we can start curling it. But first, I like to give it a quick brush so the extensions and the natural hair combine together. For this curl, you need a curling iron. A wand won't work because we're going to be working with the clamp. With the nozzle of your curling iron pointed upward, wrap a small section of your hair around the curling iron, starting at the top near your scalp. Close the clamp and twist so more hair wraps around the iron. Keeping the clamp closed, you're going to twist out the top of the hair. Loosen the clamp a bit to add in more hair and keep repeating this all the way down the strand. Twisting out the curls this way flattens them out so they're gorgeous beachy looking waves instead of ringlet curls. I'm taking really small sections. The smaller section you do, the more volume your hair is going to have and the more it will last you. Ideally, you can do this style the first day you wash your hair. You can get a couple days out of it and then you can start doing messy braids with it and stuff like that until you wash it again. Usually when I curl my hair, I like to clip it up in sections and just work with what's hanging down. But I have noticed that for this style to get the exact look I want, it actually looks better if you don't do your sections. That way the curls are a little bit more random and they don't lay too uniformed. What really makes or breaks the style is making sure you don't put too much of a curl in your ends. I don't curl the last three or four inches of my hair. I just give them a twist with the curling iron at the end of my section. If your hair is shorter, like shoulder length, you might just leave out the last two or three inches. I'm using this curling iron because when I researched the stylist who did all these girls' hair that I was loving, it was hair by Chrissy, who's amazing by the way. Her work is super gorgeous. This is the iron that she uses to style everyone's hair. I'll link it down below in the description box for this video. It's nice for these types of curls because the clamp opens and closes really smoothly, so it's easy to work with. It has adjustable heat settings. I usually turn the heat up pretty high because I'm not leaving the hair in the iron too long. To complete the look, grab your favorite texture spray, I'll link the ones I like down below, and spray it throughout the mid shafts and ends of your hair. Then gently run your fingers through it a bunch to fluff it up. Texture spray is different than hairspray, I always get asked if they're the same. It gives hair more body and tons of volume without any crispiness. Next, I'm going to grab a back combing comb and tease the waves. I just eyeball it and go for areas I want more fullness. You can skip this part, but I like to set it with a bit of hairspray. I like this one because it has an adjustable nozzle for the type of hold you want, which is really cool. I want my hair to still have a lot of movement and to not be stiff, so I'm setting it on the lightest spray setting. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you would like to be part of the fam, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload more hair or makeup videos. Um.